Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, this is an hourglass workout. So the focus is going to be on shoulders. It's gonna be on glutes. We're gonna superset those two things. So while shoulders are resting, glutes are working and vice versa. We'll do three rounds of everything and it's gonna be timed. So you have 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. If you wanna lift a little bit heavier, just take it a little bit slower in that 45 seconds. You might wanna stay in that 12 rep range and then just take the additional time as a rest period. You can grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. There are the dumbbells that I use in this workout. I'm also gonna use a bench, something to step up on and to do my glute thrusts on. But if you don't have one, I'll show you a modification or just grab a stable chair or something nice and firm to step on. I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. And hey, if you're looking for a summer program, something to help you stay on track this summer, I've got an organize your YouTube workouts summer plan in advanced and beginner. You can click or tap the card at the top of the screen or check the description below for the link. All right, ready to move daily? Let's do it. All right, folks, on the watch, I will hit strength, training, traditional strength. Let's warm things up, some hip openers to start. A little bit of a sore throat. <laughs> Tis the season, I suppose. It's not even really the season. Who wants a summer cold? Uh, I, was, I had a lot of family around and we shared a lot of things. <laughs> you know, sisters, we just share things. And now we're all sick. Go figure, take it wide. Touch your toes. Mine's not too bad though, so. I can work out, but yeah, no fun. Two more here. Good, let's bring those feet a little closer together and you're gonna get down into this low squat position. Just go ahead and give me up and down squats if you can't get low like this. Okay, we're just gonna camp out and let that Achilles stretch open. Hands on the feet and we're gonna stand and squat for eight reps. So you're here and drop. Four more here. Good, and round up. Arms out to the side. One behind the head, one behind the back. We'll warm the ball and socket up in our shoulder. One more here. All right, and circles. Switch directions. And some heel sweeps. Low reach down, sweep that heel. Last one here. Good. And swinging the foot, a nice little kick. One more here. And switch and kick. Tap that out. Let me give it all to you. And up and over. Let me give it all to you. Wanna give it all to you. And finish right here. Bring that elbow across. Very nice. All right, there's the first uh, glute and shoulder superset. 
take a look at the weights and here we go. Starting with your goblet squat pulse. Goblet pulse squat. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got my 20 here. Feet are shoulder width, you're gonna pulse at the bottom, then drive up through a flat foot or heel. So you're low, little pulse, and drive. Going into your iron cross. I'm just gonna start with fives to warm the shoulders up a bit. I'm gonna pop to eights. Ceiling, side, center, and down. Knees are soft. Palms face the thighs. And your ceiling, bring it to the side, center, and down. Nice control in that eccentric phase. So you're slow, slow, slow. That helps keep your muscle under tension a little bit longer. Nice, I'm going to my 25 for the goblet squat. You can go heavier or lighter, whatever works. All right, feet, shoulder width, drop it as low as you can. And we pulse at the bottom. So that pulse is adding just a bit of extra tension to the glutes as well. Think of pressing the floor apart or pushing the floor apart with your feet. Okay, that's very helpful to activate those glutes. I'm going to eights now for my iron cross. I'll be going a little bit slower, just heavier weight. Stick your chest out. Ceiling, side. Center, down. I'll go up to my 30. Remember, you now round three, you don't want many reps left in reserve, okay? You wanna say, okay, I could have done maybe one or two more, that's it. Drop it here. Pulse and drive. That crack in your knees, crack, crack. <laughs> Really reach your hips back. Okay. 
And last iron cross. I'll stick with eight. Don't move the torso. Moving into that Bulgarian split squat. If you don't have a bench, you'll just do a static lunge. We're gonna stay on the same side for a full 45. All right, I'm gonna start with zero weight, just to warm things up. We drop low and drive. Slight forward lean here. I want you to put your mind in that glute muscle of the front leg. Good, dip low and drive. Ideally, the foot is flat behind you, not on the tiptoe. So you can put the lion's share of your tension in this front leg. Stay with me on this side. Shake it out. You can sit, reach your leg out, and then put your foot behind. That's a great way to get into this position. Slight forward lean, foot is flat, and we drop and drive. Holding the fives for my isometric hold with the front raise. All right, that's holding. This one's working. I'll call half and then we'll switch. All right, hold this one here and we raise and down. So drop the shoulders away from the ears. Now you're just getting a nice isometric contraction on the one side and a full front raise on the other side. Stay with me until I tell you to switch. Last one here. Switch your side. Up. Chest is up. I'll be grabbing a 15 for my Bulgarian split squat this round. Again, 45 per leg. Let's drop it low and down and up. Now, lots of places you could hold the weight. You could drop it low here. You could hold it in a goblet fashion in front. You could hold it on your shoulder, okay? A bit tippy if you're finding yourself tipping too much and you're not getting enough reps in please just do the static lunge Whew. 
15 made a difference. Other side. Forward leaning and drop it low. Right into your ISO hold. Now let's do the fives. One arm holding and lift. Shoulders low. That ISO one wants to shrug to hold the weight up. I gotta be really mindful to keep it low and depressed away from my ear. Switch sides. Whew. Try not to swing at the bottom. It comes to a dead stop, then you lift. Nice. Round three, I'll stick with 15s. These are hard, you know, like if I'm dipping low, I'm feeling it, even with this weight. your back flat, stick your chest out here as well. Don't want to round in that upper body. Whew, spire. Switching legs. Catch your breath. Final ISO hold raise. I'll stick with the fives. ISO hold and we lift. Don't hold your breath. Sometimes when we do isometric contractions, we hold our breath just automatically. Remember to breathe. Switch sides. Up, that's it. Almost there. 
Nice. All right, I'm going into some glute thrust next. I'll take probably my 40 pound dumbbell on the bench, but you can do it on the floor if you'd like. All right, I've got my 45 actually on the pelvis. Feet are closer to the bottom and we're gonna pulse at the top. All right. Feet shoulder width apart here. Here we go. You drop, pulse here, drop. Pulse here, good. Um, if you're on your bench or couch, keep that chin tucked into the chest. If you're on the ground, you can lie flat on your back. Nice. Going into that single side reverse fly. You can do this propped up on your leg or on a bench. I'm gonna hold a 12. I'll call halfway, arm is rounded. Retract your shoulder blade. So you're up and squeeze. Don't let it swing at the bottom. Again, you want that dead stop. And you wanna think about your rear delt or your back shoulder muscle. Pull and retract. If your weight is super light and you don't have heavier ones, even a slight pause and down is good. All right, switch sides and up. All right, that's good. I got about 10 on each side. And back into your glute thrusts. Pulse at the top. One 1,000, drop. Two 1,000, drop. Nice. All right, into that reverse. I'll stick with 12. Flat back, rounded arm. Switching sides. Nice. Okay, round three. Yeah, no. mm. Really squeeze your glutes to the top here.
And final one on the reverse. I'm gonna stick with 12s. I'll call half. Good sides. All right. Moving into your long step up, reverse lunge. So far reaching, step back, reverse. If you don't have a bench, your squat, high knee, reverse. All right. You're gonna stay on the same leg for a full 45. Okay, I'm just gonna use 12s. Again, we're gonna step up, tap or high knee, and then down into reverse lunge. Same side, or hit that squat if you don't have your bench. So we step, knee, down, reverse. Same side. Step, knee, tap, reverse. You need some balance here. If it's easier for you to just tap, that's fine. It's a bit less focused on balance. Stay with me on this leg. All right, what foot went up? Now the other foot's going up. It's tricky. <laughs> you gotta pay attention here. All right, shoulders back, other side, and drive it up. Knee down, reverse. I'm gonna hold the tens for my seated lateral. You can stand if you'd like. I'm sitting, knees together, shoulders back. I'm taking my time here with heavier weights. I'm staying in that 15 rep range. And I'll stick with 12s here. So if I lift lighter, I'd be able to do a slew more of those. So I wanna stay in that heavy category for myself. Far reaching step up to knee, down and reverse. Stay with me on this leg. Whew. 
Kicks the heart rate up, doesn't it? What leg were you using? You're gonna switch now. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, seated laterals. Whew, heart rate. I got 14 that time. One less. I needed a little bit more recovery at the start there. All right, round three. I'm sticking with 12s. Seems high on my heart rate already. Far reach. Oh, that's getting harder. Switch your legs. All right, other side and drive. Lateral.
So the weight's down. Well, actually, I'm gonna take them down to the ground. If you have hex weights, you can use this. We're gonna stabilize one foot on there and do some single side glute thrusts. So do make sure that your dumbbell is stable, okay? We'll switch halfway, and then we'll stay down here for a seated V-sit press as well. All right, on your back. Single side. All right, you can put it on a little step or even on the ground if you don't feel so comfortable with it on the dumbbell. I'll call half, and we drive right here. Up, up, squeeze this glute, that's it. We're gonna rapid fire here. Get a nice little glute burn. Don't arch your back at the top. It's more that pelvis tuck and squeeze. That's it. A few more. Three, two, one. Switch feet and drive. Up. Yeah. I hold on to the side of my mat so I'm not sliding back, okay? Keep your bottom close to the foot. Maximize glute to not hit the hamstring. All right, seated. I'm gonna take 112. I'm gonna do V-sit press. Feet can be on the floor for an easier version. Nice and tall, don't bend. You're here and here. So chest is up and out, no rounded backs. If that's hard on your hip flexors, Sit up taller with feet on the ground, that's fine. Don't cross your ankles. Almost there. One more here, and switch your side. Here we go, and press. All right, back on your back. Single leg glute thrusts. Alcohol half, drive your glute to the ceiling or your hips to the ceiling. So you're up and up. Three, two, one, oh, the burn, and press. Wow, it's a, it's a good burn. Good, good burn. All right, let's chill for a second. <laughs> Quads even. All right, into your seated shoulder press. I'll call half. Bring the elbow to 90 degrees. Keeping tension on that shoulder. Little anterior delt, little medial delt going on here. Four. Three, two, and switch your side and press. <clears throat> Round three. That gets tough, doesn't it? Okay. On your back. And drive those hips. Here we go, and you're up. One more here, switch your legs. All 
All right, V sit. <clears throat> I'll call half, nice and tall. Feet are here and work. Switch sides. Almost there, folks. Stay for that burnout, though. It's going to be a good one. Three, two, and one. All right, if you have a mini band, join me back on the ground. We're going to do glute thrusts and frog thrusts on the count from 15 down to one. So join down here with a lighter band. Okay, I said lighter. I'm actually gonna use a heavy rubber band. I just wouldn't use a super heavy, no slip, no roll band, okay? So slip that above the knees. You're on your back. We're gonna do feet shoulder width apart, glute thrust for 15. And then you'll do feet together, knees apart, uh, abductions for 15, then we'll do 14 of each, 13. I'll count, you follow. Start with your glute thrust here. You can do this without a band as well. Great glute burnout. Here we go. Up for one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, four, three, Two, abductions, feet together, open one, butt is up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last five, four, three, two, one, glute thrust, four, one, two, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, four more here, three, two, feet together, glutes are up, open, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. last four, three, two, one, feet apart, and one, two, three, keep tension on that band, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last three, two, one, abduction, speak together, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, two, one, feet apart, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, two, one, abduct for 12 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 11, thrusts for one, two, come on, three, stay with me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, abduct for 11 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, thrust for 10, up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, abduct for 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thrust for nine, and one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, abduct for nine, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, thrust for eight, and one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, abduct for eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thrust for seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, abduct for seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thrust for six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, abduct for six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, thrust for five, one, two, three, four, five, abduct for five, and five, four, three, two, one, thrust for four, four, three, two, one, abduct for four, and four, three, two, one, thrust for three, three, two, one, abduct for three, and three, two, one, thrust for two, and two, one, abduct for two, and two, one, thrust for one, abduct for one. Woo, yeah, okay, take that band off. Good job, good job. Let's finish with our eight pound dumbbells and we're gonna do 50 pulses for shoulders. 50, right here. Finish strong for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, and one, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one, and done. You move daily in your glute and shoulder workout. Nice job, everyone. Let's take it down to the ground for a quick little stretch. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Nice and sweaty on the back on my mat there. Let's bring that leg in. Oh, give it a nice hug here. Well done, folks. Okay, that was a good sweaty little ride. Again, great volume on glutes and shoulders here. We did multiple sets of all the different angles of uh, glutes and shoulders. So that was great. Now, if you really wanted to build shoulders more, I would probably, because there's lots of parts to the shoulder, right? There's an anterior, there's the medial, there's the posterior. And we only did the one exercise for posterior with the reverse flies there. But there are lots that you could do, you know, throughout the week, if you wanted bigger back shoulders, you could hit some face pulls with cables or bands, uh, seated reverse flies, wide rows would hit those nicely. So uh, W's or Y's would hit those nicely as well. Um, so yeah, then you think, okay, somewhere else in this week, where else could I add more exercises to target that area? Then you'd get the volume that you want in order for muscle growth to occur, okay? So remember, volume's the driver of hypertrophy, which means you just have to have a good amount of sets. And a workout like this is nice and isolated, so you get a lot of volume on specific muscle groups. Uh, it's hard with glutes, I find in a home gym, because if I were at a gym, I'd be using heavy dumbbells, or barbells rather, you know, and I have a barbell, but most people don't, so I don't include it in my workouts because other people wouldn't have it, and then it's just kind of a moot point. Um, but if you could do like a heavy leg day at a gym once a week, if you really wanted to build glutes, that would be ideal. Uh, another option too is to get yourself a squat rack or a barbell with some weights and hit some deadlifts and squats using that glute thrusts off the edge of your bench using that, right? Uh, yeah, I find like that's when my glutes were at their best when I had access to those heavy, heavy weights where I could really increase the volume and machines where I could support my body and it's not all, you know, it's hard to lift up heavy weights onto your lap if you're by yourself in your home gym. So that is sometimes a problem. They do, you could also add bands, right? Um, now I didn't add any bands today, except for in that last exercise, but you could 
you know, there's those big thick elastic bands, like they're big thick gym bands, and you could wrap like it around your bench and stick your hips underneath that, and that would add your tension with your dumbbell. That would be tremendous. I should do that next time. It just takes, you know, way more time to get in and out of. It's not like a 15 second transition. Arms back, thumbs down, so you have to, you have to, you know, give yourself time to do that, but anyway, that's good. My glutes will feel this, I'm sure. Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.